Hello, everyone. Welcome. Okay, I see people already joining in. Sorry, I'm kind of scattery this morning. Um, I am, um, my name is Eleni Summershield. I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at Wise Agent. And I am joined today um, by Joseph. Um, he is a dear friend and um, integrated partner um, with Wise Agent from Productive. So we're excited to have you on, Joseph, once again. Um, talking you. about, um, we're going to be talking about how to be more productive. I think that's a very fitting title, um, so, right? So being the most productive, wise agent um, and calling your next client. So that's what we're going to be talking about is making phone calls and how to stay productive um, and how to do things, um, work your business a lot faster, more efficient um, and doing a, um, and then showing off our integration, which I'm really excited about. For sure. So while everyone is joining in, I see people coming in right now. If you guys wouldn't mind um, going into the chat in the bottom there and just um, just tell us what city, state, and brokerage you're with. I love seeing that. I love seeing where everyone is. I've been. Um, I wasn't on the webinar last week. We um, I was traveling. I was in Ohio, and before that, I was in Birmingham, Alabama. So um, took a little little break off of that. So. Oh, there's someone from Ohio. Yay, Central Ohio. I don't know where I was. Maybe it was Central. Um, it was in, where was I, Joseph? Do you know where I was? I was in a city where they were playing oh, basketball. No, no, no. You were in the Bahamas. <laughs> I wish Bahamas. I was in the Bahamas, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that would have been nice. So um, I can't think of the city of where I was. Jeez, Louise, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to come to me later on um, this afternoon. Jerry from Boston. I'm going to assume yeah. he's got that Boston accent. I'm going to have to believe I did a Beaver Creek. Thank you, Sarah. She had to tell me where I was. I can't remember. That's um, how often I travel, guys. And so, um, yeah, I'm excited to be back on the webinar this week um, with my friend here, Joseph. We're going to be um, we're going to have this chat going here. So if you guys wouldn't mind just posting where you're coming from. And then also there's the Q&A section. Um, we have the fabulous Sarah Webb, our customer. Uh, uh, our marketing manager that's going to be moderating the Q&A section. So if you wouldn't um, mind ask, asking any of your questions in that Q&A section, or you can even post comments in the chat. And then we will be streaming this, we're streaming this live already on Facebook, and then the replay will also be um, on YouTube. So if you wouldn't um, mind, you know, you can ask questions there as well. We'll be moderating that um, throughout, the, um, throughout the day as well. All right, perfect. A um, couple of housekeeping tips here. So we are recording this. As soon as this is done, we will send you the replay to everyone that registered um, and you will get this in your inbox. But again, you can find this on YouTube and on our Facebook page. All right, I think that was all the housekeeping I had to say. So Joseph, um, let's talk a little bit about our, um, tell us a little bit about what you do um, at Productive first. For sure. First, I'm just going to say hi to Marsha. I believe I have an onboarding with her tomorrow. I don't really know her. We've communicated a little bit from the website, but uh, happy to see you here. Happy to see everybody. Um, productive uh, is a very quickly evolving technology that helps realtors be way more successful. You know, that's the easiest way to put it. One of the things I think I like to talk about lately is conversational intelligence. It's not, you know, we talk about artificial intelligence. Um, what Productive really does is identify important information on your phone calls. That's done through a lot of things. It's done through, you know, the opportunity or option for you to record your calls, both sides, just your side for training purposes. There's all sorts of reasons you may want to or may not want to record your calls. Um, so this conversational intelligence that Productive, uh, productive Calls is and integrates with Wise Agent seamlessly uh, is to give realtors the benefit to listen to their clients, listen to their leads, and not have to worry about anything else. And some of those biggest worries, of course, are just, what do I need to do? What do I need to send? Um, who am I talking to when they call back? You know, remembering, right. is this the person that's vegan, has a dog, or, you know, yeah. uh, things like that. So we're definitely here to you know, help people communicate a lot better. Um, and we're very excited about like, again, and I always say this to Eleni and their team, we're so excited about our partnership with them because they allow us to think freely and then let us know what's possible 
in integrating with uh, a CRM such as theirs. So I'm um, yeah. very excited today to ask these questions to you guys. I hope Eleni's going to attempt here to put up some polls as well to yeah. get your feedback as we go. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a new thing with our polls on this webinar. So um, I'm going to go ahead and post this first one, um, just asking you guys to just um, give us what your, you know, what describes you and your title um, best. So I'll keep this up for a little bit. While we talk about what productive does, I mean, I think one of the things is it's so, you know, I mean, we all make, we all have conversations, we're all building relationships with, with other people. And what I think that um, productive does really well is the, the recording, the transcribing, the ability that gives the, the person talking, right, you, the agents, the ability to really become active listeners and participants in the conversation, instead of like, you know, and I know I've done it. I mean, I've done it on this webinar where I'm like scribbling down something and then I'm like, wait, what'd you say? You know, because I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying when you were saying it because I was taking notes or I was trying to recall something that you said the last time we talked. And so really, I mean, that just gives everyone that gives a realtor like the, the benefit of really listening in and listening to some of the details and just really absorbing the conversation. Um, and then allowing the recording, the transcribing to happen automatically. Um, so then it doesn't have that, you don't have that stress of, shoot, I forgot, did they say three bedrooms, two bathrooms? Or would, did they say, you know, in this area? Or did they say two bedrooms, you know, and two bathrooms in this other area? What, you know, what, what did they say? I can't remember. You don't want to have that stress in your conversation. You want to, uh, you want to be able to, to relieve that, right, Joseph? Yeah, absolutely. I think, and, and this is so not industry specific. This even applies to your personal life. Um, I believe, and I don't want to name the name, but it might be someone in this uh, in the chat here that was talking about how not only are they managing multiple businesses, but they're dealing with family members that are either in need due to their age or health. Um, and, and there's a lot of information that comes with those calls as well, doctor's calls and things like that. So there are so many things this day and age with Will Smith, you know, slapping, uh, Chris Rock, it's a lot of information. I only mentioned that because it's we're inundated with that information. We're inundated with what's going on over uh, in Europe. And to assume that somebody could handle all of this information that we're getting, specifically from our, our mobile devices, um, what Productive can really do is alleviate the stress, which is a very scary word. We can alleviate that stress of you having to remember um, or focus on the idea that you can't listen actively because like Eleni said, you're finding a piece of paper, you're, you're opening a different app, getting running to your computer to write a note in a different app and nothing comes together. And you as wise agent users, you're entrusting wise agent to give you a database and they have such a, an enormous amount of connectivity to their platform that allows you to bring all your information uh, into wise agent. And that's really what productive is aiming to do is to take all the stress away from your phone call. Yeah. I love it. And I love what Jerry said here. He says, um, people confuse busy with um, and productive. You can be very busy and broke. Um, I love that, Jerry. I think that's Jerry, um, Jerry, can we use that on our website? I, I think you only to sent that to us. So right. I'm going to I'm no, gonna post that it. to everybody. But oh, yeah, God. I mean, it, it right. It is. It's you. I mean, being busy. I mean, you're and I, uh, this is coming from a person that like, I do like being busy. I don't like just sitting around. Like, I don't like just sitting around. I like being active in my life. I like being active and being productive and, you know, not wasting time. And that's what this integration really helps with is that, you know, I'm, you know, you all know, I just mentioned I travel. I have, you know, three teenagers at home. There could be times where in my day where I'm home to have lunch with my kids and my husband, yet I'm getting a business call. And, you know, maybe some of you, you've experienced the same thing where you're like, you know, crumb, where is this, that piece of paper? And where's the pen? You don't have the things that you need. The kids are following you around asking like, hey, can I get some more of that soda? Can I do, you know, and you're just like, okay, I got to answer this call. Listen to what they're saying. Try and find a piece of paper and a pen to write this down. I can't do it all. Um, where this gives you that ability to really just focus on the conversation, ignore your kids, and then, um, and really just focus on the conversation at hand. 
And I'll just argue one thing there, actually, because I, I love using this as an example for myself. And I'm not a realtor, so I don't pretend to know, again, that, that the amount of relationship building that realtors do. But I do know that when I'm on my calls, I have been walking the dog or playing with my dog in a dog park. I have I once took a business call while I was on a uh, uh, paddleboard on the lake. Um, and, and it's the idea that you actually can do things. I wouldn't suggest doing dangerous things. But I mean, when you're having calls as you shouldn't be interacting with your phone while you're driving, that's a huge piece that, that productive alleviates. So it's the ability not only to, you know, ignore your kids and take your calls and know that you're getting all the work done just by having the conversation, but also to be able to potentially play with your kids, be cooking and flipping over your shrimps or whatever you're cooking and still be engaged in your call. So it's, it's a catch 22 where I think it works both ways uh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I think, um, what, you know, I think what a lot of people, um, you know, kind of sometimes can under, um, underutilize some of the tools that, you know, wise agent is offering your notes is something, um, you want to have, you want to be able to add your notes freely, seamlessly, um, without much stress or, um, friction, right. For yourself. So then you are in the purpose of the notes so you can go back and recall the conversations and put the highlights in there. You don't have to, you know, have every detail, but having those highlights in there. So then you can remember, I have to order a CMA. I have to do this. I have to drop off these documents or I have to email this or do that. Right. You have all these tasks that you guys are doing as realtors, that those things are things that need to be accomplished in order for you to get to the closing table. Right. I mean, it will help you grow your business because you're going to be more on top of things, more productive in a way where you're not going to forget things because that could prevent you from getting the listing agreement or closing the deal or doing whatever it is. Right. Great. Yeah. And, and so, do we have enough on that poll, Eleni too? I'm so curious to see, uh, yeah, who, whom we're talking to here, if, if that's okay. Yeah, so um, so 76% people are um, describe their title as a realtor, 16% okay. as broker owners, and then 8% as others. Others, so. okay, awesome. So we're talking a lot of people, obviously, in, in the real estate industry here. Um, yeah. One of the things I'll just share with you quick, because I think it, it, it's, it, it's a nice step as obviously, I think, you know, we're still getting people entering uh, the webinar here. Um, one of the things we get a lot, is, you know, when ideally in an ideal world, you don't have to carry around multiple cell phones. You know, it's kind of a dated way of thinking, you know, the, the traditional sales reps of organizations, they, um, oh, absolutely, Debbie, we're going to see it in action in just a little bit for sure. Um, I'm going to demo here actually what is a great function of productive where you can brand your calls. So a lot of you may be working independently, um, you know, and, and you receive your calls directly to your phone. And you want people to know who they're calling, specifically leads, which are generally going to be unknown callers, even especially if they're coming in through Zillow or whatever other platforms you may have that, that get you leads. Uh, and also your CRM contacts. So you want to you want to be able to create a, a really professional environment, you know, as opposed to just getting calls to your phone, answering and be like, who this, you know. So <laughs> one of the things I want to I just why not? Um, so what we have is what we call a branded call greeting. Okay, so you can adjust this in many ways. So again, productive gives you the option to record and transcribe both sides of your conversation, just your side, you could have recording off, but the opportunity to turn it on or off during a call if you'd like, if you're in a state where you don't need to disclose that you're recording a call because you're a single party consent state, you don't have to disclose the recording. So uh, a typical call, call greeting that if I call Lenny's phone, uh, again, not disclosing that there's a recording, it'll sound something like this. Okay, I'll put it to my microphone up here, I believe, yeah. Hello, Joseph. Please wait while we connect you to Alini from Wise Agent. Okay. So that's an example there. It's just saying, hello, Joseph, connecting you to Alini from Wise Agent. Okay, now if you're choosing to record uh, and transcribe the call, Productive gives you the opportunity to use a bunch of default options, like this call is being recorded for note-taking purposes, um, this call is being rec uh, recorded for training purposes and all sorts of other reasons. You could even customize your own reason, kind of like I do. And mine sounds like this when you call me. Okay. Hello, Jeremy. Connecting you to Joseph from Productive. This call will be recorded because Joseph's memory ain't what it used to be. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it's uh, because Joseph's memory ain't what it used to be. Um, 
for me, that's my brand. I like people knowing me that way. Um, I, I know for realtors, it's you have to really decide what your brand is. Um, you know, you want to either sound really professional or maybe you're just someone that, you know, wants to, you know, that's having a little bit more fun with your brand. Um, mm -hmm. But you can do a lot of things with that. And that, of course, disclose that I am recording. And the reason is really just because my memory ain't what it used to be. So uh, that is a feature that we get, uh, had a, a lot of requests from um, a year ago when we did last webinars. Like, it may, yeah. you know, we had this function, but people really told us how much they either A, liked it, or what they'd like to see in the evolution of it. So that's really become, uh, I think, a staple for a lot of our, our wise agent users thus far. Yeah, I'd like to um, launch another poll here um, just to see how many people have been in a situation where you wish you had um, a recording of your phone call. Um, because I think it's kind of important to know this. I mean, there's times where, you know, like you sometimes you just don't want to know. And there's sometimes, you know, in you're like, gosh, I really, I really wish this would have been recorded because I could have, you know, been a little bit more in tune. They were talking about, you know, their, their sick pet. And I really couldn't empathize or, or really say anything because I was scribbling down all this other stuff that they were talking about and the property that they're looking for. Um, so really it's, you know, just curious to see. And so we've got a few people respond. We've got a lot of people responding here. So I have a story here as well as people deciding if they want to answer this or not. I have a really great story I heard about a week ago from a realtor friend of mine. I like to call this whole concept and I'll be, I'll be talking about this quite a bit. I think in the next few months, I'm going to call this whole topic. Are you working with another realtor? And I'm hoping you guys can appreciate and understand my, maybe where I'm going with this. If you are, please just say, yep, because I think you know where I'm going. Realtor one, number one, my friend, realtor one, we'll call her, uh, had said that, you know, she got a new client. It's someone that was a referral and she'd asked her on the phone, oh, are you working with another agent? Her client said no, or this lead said no. Okay, great. I'll help you find a property. So she finds a property. They end up purchasing it. Fantastic. The problem is realtor number two comes into the picture with a lawsuit saying, this was my client. I have a signed agreement with her and you're in violation and, and, and I'm due my commission. So there's a lawsuit against both the client and realtor number one. The issue is, um, luckily, the client has admitted that she openly did state that she was working with another realtor. She didn't understand the severity, I think, of signing an agreement with, a, with another realtor. So what is so important here, and as I mentioned this to realtor number one, my friend, and, and was explaining what, what Productive does, She's like, wow, I kind of wish I had that call, but I'm not as concerned because luckily this client is being very transparent and likely this client is now going to be on the hook for some sort of settlement, maybe not the full amount of commission that technically the realtor number two would have been owed on the purchase of a property. But this is the world we live in. And it's and what we call this entity in, in productive is risk management. I think realtors hear a lot about this, but it's managing your risks. I can't speak to the other types of issues you might encounter when you know dealing with new clients or brokerages or things in your personal life lawyers doctors things like that uh, where you want to have a record even though on a daily basis you may not ever need to really go into a call recording to review anything hi mom yeah i'll be home in 20 minutes for dinner things like that those are things you don't really need the recording for yeah. um Sometimes, Sometimes. Your, kids says, if your kids says they're coming home in 20 minutes and they come to home two and a half hours later. You're like, wait a second here. <laughs> traffic. Yeah. yeah, traffic. Exactly. Mom. Anyway, so uh, there's a lot of applicable scenarios for this, but just because you have call recordings and things like that, um, unless mom told you her. Yeah, exactly. Debbie's got it right on the butt. Um, so this is obviously a very big topic for us and a concern for us for realtors as we, we get to know everybody. Yeah. What was the results there? Did the, yeah. They... So, um, so 54% said that they absolutely wish that they, um, had a recording of phone call. 41% said yes, but not very often. And only 5% said, um, you know, no, they, they never wow. really wish that they had a, a call recorded. So great. that's great. Yeah. yeah so that's, that's interesting. Helpful. I mean, it is, it's interesting. I mean, there's, um, a good majority of you are saying like, yeah, you know, I would, I, this, I could benefit from that. Uh, and I know, you know, um, there might be other situations. I know Joseph mentioned, you know, when you have that situation where um, you ask the client something and they give you an answer and then you end up being in the hot seat because they weren't really truthful or they didn't understand the implications of what their answer was. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it, it is, um, it, it does work to that advantage, but it also can work with, I know, 
Um, you know, for me, sometimes I, I'm, I run late sometimes, or I'm running maybe not late, but maybe on time. Um, but definitely I don't have time to pull over and stop and take notes. Um, when I get a phone call, um, and it's like, gosh, I really don't want to, I don't have the time to, to really pull over and, and take notes on this conversation that I really need to make sure that I'm getting every detail, right? A lot of times, some of the situations that you're in, it's, it is, uh, you know, yeah, they want a three bedroom, two bathroom. Of course, you want to make sure you're getting that right, not showing them something that's, you know, not in what they're asking for. But sometimes it's, you know, hey, I need to do these tasks. I need to have these things submitted. And it's like 15 things. I can't remember all those things. I'm already stressing. I might be late. So um, having something where you have um, you have the ability to record it and then have that seamless integration to go into your um, into your CRM. And I know this is the new part with our integration that we, you can now have all your tasks also be added. So if you're saying I need to have order, you know, um, order a, a sign for for the front of the house, do you know, send the CMA, do this, do that then all of those things seamlessly integrate within Wise Agent. So when you do get back to your desk, or if you have, a, if you're fortunate enough to have an assistant, they could see all those things coming across that a sign needs to be added, you know, or, or um, ordered for a particular person. They can just go ahead and take care of those things while you're out doing your thing, right? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, and I think, uh, how do you want it? When will be available? So if you guys do scroll up, uh, I think our other moderator in here, will post the details every few minutes. Uh, there is a, we, we offer a complimentary onboarding for everybody. Uh, yeah. It's really just to find out how you want to use it. Yeah, there it is right now. It was just posted by Sarah. So you can uh, register. We already had, uh, I think it was Miss Walker has just signed up. I just saw a notification. Yeah. So please, uh, it is not an add-on feature of, uh, uh, it's not a part of Wise Agent. I think Francesca was asking about this. It is a, an app that integrates obviously with, with Wise Agent. Um, and both the, the call is really, this webinar is really to show you not only how you can, you know, obviously use Wise Agent, but how you can be more productive using Wise Agent by integrating your phone calls directly to Wise Agent. Um, no, yeah, I'm sorry, Joseph. I was gonna, I was going to ask you a question because I've seen this question pop up a couple of times where people are saying like, so are, do people get freaked out when they hear, hey, this call is being recorded? Um, you know, what, what is that? And then also, are there certain states, and maybe you guys have some resources um, that you could share with the um, with our viewers today to show which um, states have what kind of consent? You know, is it a one you know um, yeah. one person consent or? Yeah, um, I'm gonna. I'll I'll uh, I'll actually send the link. It's on our FAQ, so it's not a problem. One thing I guess I'll, I'll just note too, just while I'm getting that resource. Um, one thing I will note: someone had asked, "Are we seeing a demo?" Absolutely. What I'd like to stress and this is very important, is that though Productive is an app, okay? Uh, and let me just paste this link right here for everybody. Oh, I see. think Enlight um, posted the two-party consent. Oh, wow, well, he listed yeah. everybody. Yeah. Okay, he did, the, he, yeah. he did the very clear way. Yeah. Perfect, that, that is in the chat now. What's very important to understand, uh, we'll, do a, we'll do a demo call here uh, in a second just so everyone can start seeing it in action. The trick is Productive, even as of now, so uh, there was a question about how is this different from when we did the last webinar. Productive is really now focused on making sure you don't need to really touch your phone if you don't want to. You can answer a call like a regular incoming call. Your call flow does not change at all. Now, yes, if someone's calling you and you're deciding to A, disclose that you're recording the call, or B, just play the call greeting. Hello, Joseph, connecting you to Eleni from Wise Agent. Do people get freaked out? The feedback is twofold. One, if you're disclosing, disclosing that the call is being recorded, it can definitely either A, deter people a little bit, and you can segment your calls for these greetings by phone contacts, unknown callers, and CRM contacts. Unknown callers are generally going to be your leads and, and spam calls. So the question is, is saying that you're recording the call, whether for a serious reason, for, for you know, note-taking purposes, compliance purposes, or because your memory sucks. Uh, if you if you state that and you feel that the reception to it is not as good, you could turn it off. You could just record your side of the conversation if you're in a two-party consent state and you're not comfortable with uh, declaring that you're recording a call. That has happened before, but the overwhelming majority of people are impressed with the initial portion of any disclosure, which says, hello, Joseph, connecting you to a Lenny from Wise Agent. 
the first comment that every wise agent realtor in particular that, that's told us this, let, let alone all of our other users say, it tends to spark a discussion. And they'll say, do you have like a virtual receptionist? You know, they don't understand it because your cell phone calls have stayed the same for decades. They have not changed. So this is really a revolutionary development of a technology that's reliable, that everybody uses, it's on every device. Uh, and, and now we're, we're giving you smart features on it. Yeah. Um, the reason why it's not as important, and I'm, we're going to demo it, is because you can work hands-free on your Bluetooth in your car, and you can rely on Productive to notate the conversation through call recordings and transcriptions, to transcribe notes and summarizations that you want to make after your call, which we're going to show you, yeah. and a new development identifying all of the tasks you need to do tomorrow, the next week for that client, all automatically logged into Wise Agent. And that's pretty, like, that's pretty special. Uh, me and Eleni had a talk the other day about other ways that we're going to start to integrate. Uh, I, one of the users I onboarded had, had uh, asked the other day about Planner, uh, saying she uses Planner a lot. And uh, we, we do have the ability to connect with the Wise Agent on that. So over the next week or two, that's probably going to be something we work closely on because your planner can connect to your Google Calendar. So now if we can get all of the specific dates of things that you need to get, I have a viewing tomorrow at 3 p.m. Imagine saying that on your phone call and just not touching anything and it ending up in your calendar. Yeah. So that's... The, di the dictation of either note-taking or adding tasks to your task list or, you know, in the future to come, adding calendar appointments for yourself. I mean, that really takes everything to that next level. So you're able to really work seamlessly because um, I don't know about you all, but I love like having kind of my version of work-life balance, right? Not my version is just my version, right? And you might look at my life and say that that is not work-life balance, but to me it is. And, mm -hmm. you know, and especially, in, and for me to achieve that, it's I achieve it through technology. I really leverage all the technology at my, at my disposal, like productive. So then I'm able to kind of get to the things that I need to do without having to jump through too many hoops to get them done, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, so we're going to show this demo. And I think, um, yeah. Joseph, if you're okay with that, I'm going to, I'm going to initiate this phone call. Um, Absolutely. Let me share my screen here. Okay. okay. One second. Uh, so, because I think, I think it's important for everyone to see what, um, you know, how this works. And let me know when you're ready for me to, to start. Well, yeah, on. you can go ahead and place yeah. the call. Absolutely. Okay. And, so the, and yeah. so you're, so one thing to note, Joseph, you're not even on the app. The app's not open right now. This is just your Correct. phone. Correct. It, it could yeah. be closed in the background again. So what you're going to see is a productive notification. And this is an unknown caller. Oh, it pulls in her caller ID information. Fantastic. And I can see it's recording both sides of the conversation because I've chosen to record both sides of the conversation. Yeah. Okay, so now the call is going to come in like a regular incoming cellular call. And I should note that since we are doing this live as we tested before, uh, a lot of things either A, don't show up on the screen or B, will not work, of course, when I'm presenting. This is a very- You gotta Tesla. love live demos. You gotta love you live You gotta demos. love it. Yes, I'm gonna click into productive here. Let's see, there, of course, now the call comes in, okay. So the call is active. So let's just say this is a new lead, of course. I don't have her saved in the CRM yet. So um, Eleni, why don't you tell me what kind of property you're looking for? I'm looking for a three bedroom, two bathroom in Scottsdale. Fantastic. Okay, I'm like, that's pretty good information. I'm just gonna put a little bookmark once, just something for me to remember it by. Now, again, I'm showing you what it's like to use the app but there's a lot of features here where I really don't need to, because I can come back into this recording and transcription anytime I'd like to. So what we have here is very simple, um, is an all-in-one interface that pulls in multiple sources of communication. You have a Gmail tab up here at the top, which allows you to access all the emails you've had between you and just this individual. Me and Eleni have not had any uh, correspondence through, I guess, my account here. And I'm gonna show you how notes work as well. So what I'm gonna ask uh, Eleni to do is to, I'm gonna put this on speaker so everyone can kind of hear it. Eleni, I'm gonna ask you to hang up the call, okay? And again, I could be in my car driving and I'll just say, Eleni, it was great talking to you. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, I already hung up on you. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. You can now record any notes you have. When you're done, save 
say goodbye or simply hang out. I had a great call. I need to send her listings for three bedroom homes in Scottsdale. I also want to send her flowers. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. So I've just tried, I've gotten everything out of my head that I could possibly remember about this call. I wouldn't say that it was very good information <laughs> off the top of my head, but yeah. Eleni, I'll send you flowers. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, um, so we see that we created a task here. Okay. And what well, you saw that pop up. Now, if I go to tasks here at the top, we can see that I need to send her listings for a three bedroom. I don't know if I said, I, I think I paused too long after I said bedroom. So um, again, our identification of these things will definitely improve. But really what it is here, it, it's identifying key trigger words. For myself, I've dictated that I want to identify when I say I need to. Okay, so I've said I need to. Um, and I think I, I also put, I also want to, I'm probably going to have to add that to my action words. A lot of people speak a lot of different ways. And a lot of the feedback we're getting from users, again, of this new feature is to understand how you speak and also to allow people to potentially choose what their trigger words are. Right. I'm going to say this very quietly because I don't want it to work, but it's a lot like, hey, Google, <laughs> just don't want her to hear me because she'll go off. So uh, a lot of that technology and that I idea that Productive Calls uh, institutes is based off of a lot of these really smart conversational intelligence technologies, okay? But now, well, this is a lead. I'm out of my car. I've got some time to sit down. Oh, this is a lead I want to add to my CRM. So at the very top, you'll see add contact underneath her name. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. I get the option to add to wise agent or just add to my phone. I'm going to add it to wise agent. You can indeed have multiple, you know, CRMs or you can, you can log to different things. Um, a lot of people do ask us about, you know, their Google calendar, their Google contacts and things like that. So you have the option to do all sorts of different things here, create new contact or add to existing contact and lead. Okay. So if you think this person does exist and they have a new phone number, you can search their name, but I'm going to create a new contact and it pulls in the caller ID information automatically. All right. So right now, all I'm required to do with Wise Agent is actually enter in a first name. In this case, Eleni's name and her caller ID is perfect. And if I don't want to enter any other information, I could just press save. But I'm going to enter in some more information here. So I'm just going to actually, I'm not going to save your contact to my phone, but you can choose to if you'd like. But what we have here is categories, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to first put Wise Agent. Okay, and while, and while you're typing some of this stuff out, I wanted to just mention, so these categories would be the drop down list here is the categories that you have in Wise Agent. So um, if you don't have any, you could add new ones, but these would be, you know, whatever categories that you already have in your Wise Agent account. Not only that, you can create categories here that will push into Wise Agent. So I always say a great example, you're speaking to somebody, I'm like, I needed a category for guys with beards. That's usually the one I think of. So if you realize, oh, there's a new category of potential client, maybe you're starting off in real estate and all you're thinking of is buyers, sellers, and renters. And then all of a sudden you get this call where it's, oh, this is an investor. Maybe I want to have a complete different category for investors. Maybe I'm going to have a drip campaign just targeted towards investment real estate opportunities. So I'm going to select buyer. So there I have Eleni. I have her, her business name. Uh, I can, uh, let me enter your email, Eleni. Can we make that public? Sure. Yep. Eleni at Wise Agent. <laughs> I mean, it's not too I know, it's, it's hard to that. correct by code. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to click save, which is great. And now, um, we'll see it create. And now we get an additional tab here at the top. Okay, create successfully. There's an additional tab here at the top, okay? I'm going to click on Wise Agent. It brings me immediately into my, my uh, Wise Agent workspace for this contact. All of her information is there. And this might be somewhere you go to additionally enter different search criteria. Maybe you have another call and you get more property information or they send you an email. Again, you could do all this also on your uh, desktop as well. So all this information is indeed um, available there. What I'm gonna do here is share my desktop. Uh, I think this is the one. Let's do this here. So you can actually see what's going on here. And I'm going to minimize this. Can you see my desktop here? Yeah. To say yeah, Joseph Tess. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna search. Let me just refresh this. Okay. And I'm gonna type in Eleni. There she is. And again, I just created this on my phone. So if you have team members that are using Wise Agent as well, they're gonna get this information in real time, right? So 
oh, there's a new task that we're entering, if there's other information, uh, all this information is gonna be synced automatically. So I can go down here, I'm gonna go to my contact notes, had a great call, I need to send her listings for a three bedroom home in Scottsdale, I also want to send her flowers. It's already in the CRM. Everything uh, in our call as well, everything is logged automatically. And now what I'm gonna have you do, uh, that we've made some notes, new share, let me go back to my phone here. Now I'm gonna have you uh, call me back, Eleni, okay. if you don't mind. Okay. And I'm gonna show everyone what it's kind of like. I'm gonna put a note here as buyer. I'm also just gonna put, um, you know, and we have your category. So you see that note that I just wrote was log to wise agent. So, oh, there's a call and we have the CRM caller ID. Gives me, tells me it's a buyer. I have some of my most recent notes on the account. So now I remember who I'm talking about, okay? Now I'm gonna wait for the call to come in, which I think it's connected. Here we go, from wise agent. And now I can tap to open and take notes if I'd like to again. One of my favorite features that I think people are gonna really love is the in-call voice note, which again, if it's a task, someone says, hey, there's a, I wanna see a property tomorrow at 3 p.m. Okay, well, first, let me check my calendar, which is down here in the bottom right. It shows me all my calendars that are connected to my iCalendar or my Google Calendar on my phone. So tomorrow uh, at 3 p.m. Oh yeah, I'm free right after 3 p.m. I have a call, fantastic. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make an in-call voice note that the other party cannot hear. I need to set up a viewing tomorrow at 3 p.m. Okay, so there we go. I need to set up a viewing tomorrow at 3 p.m. Uh, it's been notated, transcribed, and you'll see a pop-up saying it's been added to my task list. The next, the next step here is, as we were speaking of, is getting this into your planner. If you use your planner, um, which again, seems to be a really popular feature as well and a great way for organizing yourself. So again, my task list, it's here. And again, if I went onto my desktop as well, the note is there as well. Okay, I also have the option to end the call here by myself. I can hang up or hang up and take notes. So if I don't wanna do the post-call note-taking that I did before, I can just choose hang up. And now sadly, I've hung up on a Lenny. <laughs> yeah, I love it. That is, that is, saddest day of my life. Oh, thanks, Joseph. <laughs> and you know, and what I love is that um, the tasks are there for you as a reminder for your follow-ups. And once we get that um, integration with the calendar, because that's really the most important part of things when you're having the conversation, um, a lot of times we, we tend to, you know, make some, some promises, some commitments to things, and then it's, I never wrote it down, or I wrote it down on a little sticky note and I forgot where I placed it or in a notebook that I left behind at Starbucks or whatever happens. This keeps everything kind of in one central location for you to go back and recall all of that, keeping you really on, ta on task with everything that you need to get done, but then doing things in a timely fashion so you are getting, you know, to the closing table or, or, or getting to where you need to be in your business, right? And I just wanted to show you as well, again, just for this idea of, you know, looking at uh, looking at your call recording and transcription, uh, if you'd like to, especially on desktop, you know, again, you want, people want to be able to work mobily, remotely, but also know that this information is indeed in Wise Agent. So right here, I just have the call that me and Eleni had, and there's a link. It's a secure link. It's only yours. It's not, it's not shared. It's not publicly accessible. I can click on this. Okay. It's not taking up any phone in your, in your iPhone or your Android. It's not taking up phone in your Wise Agent. And here we have a transcription, okay? And uh, speaking of things, so that's, well, what can I search for here? Um, your game, pull boys, I don't know. So again, transcription is never 100%. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll gladly state that just so you guys know, but I could always search by keywords in, in this case, I'm gonna type in uh, three, let's type in three. Okay, 3 p.m. So it notated it as uh, the word three, uh, but again, it allows me to find all the times I mentioned 3 p.m. Here, I believe, let me see this one, whoops. So again, I'm just searching like a, a control search function. I can go to any of these and I can play the audio from that portion of the conversation. This is great when we talk about risk management, when we talk about uh, even things where it's not you're concerned legally, you might be asking yourself, how much did they say they were pre-approved for? I don't wanna get it wrong. Was it 500, was it 400,000? So you wanna come in here, you could look at the type of uh, search the word pre-approval, find that section, this way you don't have to bug your client. You don't have to text them, say, how much did you say on the call? Right. Because that's really not the best way to, to, to build confidence in your service. Um, and also use of your time. It, it 
in many ways, when you sit down to do your work or do it mobily, you know, you have your platform, you dive into, you're doing things, searching the MLS, placing a call to an individual, asking them, hey, do you have a minute? I just wanted to recall what we spoke about. That takes more time, more frustration, and more of two people's time than it would for you to just simply review a call recording and transcription. Right. Okay. I want to clarify for um, Helen where she asks, um, does it integrate with our desktop if we're working at our desk? So um, so the the recordings, obviously the conversations are happening on your mobile device, and then the recordings will go and um, into, uh, into the cloud. You'll get a link to those recordings and as well as a transcription into your Wise Agent account that you can access either from the Wise Agent application that's on mobile or on the desktop. Either way, you'll see all of that. So it does, um, it, it works seamlessly on both sides. So you don't have to um, just be working off of your phone to listen to, you know, the recordings back or read it. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I ruined the surprise. The screen was open. Uh, one piece of that. So a lot of requests definitely from a lot of people to be able to maybe even execute calls from their, uh, from their desktop device. Uh, what I will say, and we're very proud of this, I think, as well as Wise Agent, that we do offer you a mobile view of your complete Wise Agent suite. What I mean by that is right here in Productive, I'm in my inbox, which is a lot like a, a mail, uh, uh, an email inbox, right? You have everything chronologically ordered. You know, you get, if I got a call from Betty Byer, it'll appear at the top. What a great name, Betty Byer. She's not a real person. Top left corner, you're going to see these four squares. Uh, it, it will show the uh, wise agent icon it did before, but uh, we have the uh, opportunity here for multiple integrations. A lot of people ask us about even, you know, things like storing their call recordings and things like that in uh, like a Google Drive, you know, storing things locally. You can indeed share any call recording that you have on a conversation. You can share it to yourself via any of the, you know, iPhone options where you could text it to yourself, you could email it to yourself. So you can send a secure link you can also revoke access to a link. So let's say you've shared a link. Maybe you sent it accidentally to different people. You can always revoke that as well. So there's a, people always ask about security. All these uh, call recordings are completely secure. They're dedicated to your account, connected to your email and phone number. So it's like a two-layer authentication. No one else has access to these things. But if I click this icon in the top left corner, Wise Agent pops up. I have access. This is Wise Agent. I have access to everything I need here, including I can look at my task list. All right, so if I go to future, it's not today. I'm going to look at future and send her a nice bouquet of flowers. Oh, okay, great. And I think, oh, I'll just see if I had, here we go. Set up a viewing tomorrow at 3 p.m. Send her documents for 5 p.m. So this is the note I just took with you, uh, I believe on our demo call, set up a viewing tomorrow at 3 p.m. Okay, I can also come back here to the menu and I can go to planner. Let's see if I have anything on my planner I need to do today. So today is the 30th. I have to call Erica. Okay, so I can click on this. Let's take a look. So it's connected to Erica Bledsoe, who's a contact of mine, and I have to call her. So if I want to actually execute a call from Wise Agent, I can do it mobily here, and I have her picture shows up. I have her phone number. I have her email. So I could actually execute the call right here from Productive. Oh, it's not a valid number. That's because it's fake. Okay. Um, let me see if this one will work. There we go. And I can execute the call right here from Productive. Okay, so again, using Wise Agent when that question asks, you know, working on your desktop, mm -hmm. of course, uh, that integration has definitely been uh, asked for in terms of executing you know, your cell phone calls, I guess, from your desktop. But you can definitely execute your calls right here in Wise Agent. You could even go to your contact list as well, your call list, your texting function, um, and everything like that. You could even view the standard site from here. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of, again, and that's why I think one of the things I get so nervous about is demoing the app a lot uh, because everything that when Eleni called me and I dictated what I needed to do, summarized our conversation, the app can be used just like that. And all I have to do at the very end of it, once I'm satisfied that I've gotten everything I need out of my head mm -hmm. or even during the call, that mm -hmm. I can just say goodbye and I can move on with my life in that regard. So, and all that information, again, as you saw, automatically, instantaneously appears, even on your desktop version. But of course, it's it's accessible either place. Yeah. So, yeah. it's the simplicity of it, and uh, the app itself is obviously a great tool for those who still like to type notes, dictate notes during a call, or dictate notes after the call as well. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love it when, um, you know, I love working with integrated partners that have that forward thinking um, and like you guys do there at Productive and, and work seamlessly with 
um, with the CRM, with us to, to make everything just easier for the agents, for realtors. I mean, it really is about making um, your life easier. We were, I talked a little bit earlier about that work-life balance. I mean, it is about giving yourself more time, um, which, you know, if, once you have more time, then you're able to do whatever it is that you want. Is it grow your business? Is it spend more time with your family? Is it, you know, um, you know kind of making your priorities um, a little bit more um, accessible to you because you are going to be having more time for those things. Um, what are the questions? Oh, did you want to say something about that? No, I was just going to say, did you post the poll of, of what? Oh, that one. Um, let me see. I'm intrigued to know because it, it and that it actually just, it, it just further details the point you were just making, yeah. uh, but it is, it is a very interesting um yeah. poll i think yes yeah if you guys don't mind it's it's a great question to ask yeah. what what you, what you want um yeah. with what you know so far of what you believe productive can do do you want uh more time to live your best life or do you want more money and success you know those are generally the two big driving factors when you talk about career uh, a third one though is also um and again but again we want a really definitive answer here but a third one really is is like maintaining the same workload but reducing your stress or not being so busy, but being more productive, which is a fantastic, I can't wait to steal that from whoever wrote it because it was fantastic. Um, but it really is, it's the idea that any of these tools doesn't need to make you go one way or the other. It can definitely just relieve a lot of the busyness or the the, the disorganization, which is a big one. Yeah. Um, and, and, I'll, yeah. And, and I'll say this, I mean, you know, and it looks like, gosh, the overwhelming um, responses so far is, um it's definitely veering to towards one um over the other oh, really there's wow. still people there's still people coming in and answering so i won't i won't reveal yet but i mean i think you you know you mentioned um money slash success i would say success doesn't always equate money i mean yes you obviously need some of that to be um you know in some people's eyes to be successful but um time to live in your best life i mean that is a definition of success if you're able to live the life that you see for yourself um, that is a measurement of success because now you're not, you know, you're not pigeonholed to do certain things or do, you know, you have this freedom of, of living the life that you really have intended to, to live out and to seek that. And I think that, you know, that does speak, um, that does speak volumes to people. Um, and yeah. one of the things I'll just mention, so me, me and Eleni went through this again with their team and I'm, I'm not kidding when we say we, we really do work actively to, to create really cool workflows. So one of the things we, we talked about, and it, I, I believe it works. I haven't tested it enough to confidently say this to everybody. Okay, I was wondering. Is, no, I haven't, but I'd like, to, I'd like to mention it because again, I think a big piece of this as well as a lot of our, a lot of our early day users about two years ago uh, were from Wise Agent. And that's how we actually, it was actually a referral from one of the Wise Agent users that actually made us you know, get in contact. And over the years, we two years anyways, we've developed a really great relationship, but uh, is the idea of, you know, our vision in, in automation of, of your workflows to make just work simpler so you can either live more life or just do all of your work way more efficiently. So one of the functions that I think we're even integrating here uh, that, I, that I'm excited about that I think is great is the ability to when you're adding a new lead or even using some sort of, you know, how we had the categories drop down, just a simple button that says you want to place them in one of your drip campaigns that you can set up through Wise Agent. The ability, if you get a new lead that calls you from Zillow, let's say, and they're like, oh, I saw this listing. Whoa, 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 okay, what property is it? Oh, it's this, it's a three bedroom, this and that. Okay, great, how about this? Uh, I'll, I'll send you some comparables in the area, but I'm gonna send you an email right now with all my contact information, my website, some blogs, some testimonials, and some of my recent sales. All my information is in this introductory email. Same with a text message. Here's my, here's my actual phone number. You can save it as a contact. There is the ability, I just haven't been able to test it yet, but this is hopefully something we'll have available very soon. But again, it's about our vision that where if you click the button or if you just added the lead to Wise Agent, that contact can or will automatically receive a welcome email telling them everything they need to know about how great it is to work with you as an agent, as a realtor, and same as a text message, again, if you so choose. Okay. So these are the types of automations. I know I would love that if a new person you know, contacts me, wants to jump on a call and I say, you know, let me, yeah, let me just send you, oh, I think a big part is whenever I have a call or even a Zoom call, it's always like, hey, can you send me like some resources from your website, some videos? It would just be great to send a, an email or whatever response. Hey, 
here's a lot more information about productive. Here's our website. Here's our videos. Here's our blogs. Here's some testimonials. Yeah. You know, and so, so that's the type of automation. Yeah, I need that. Exactly, Helen. Right. And so, um, Joseph, I should should I spoil it for you or should I just make you test it yourself? Um, maybe I'll spoil it for you so everyone can can be in on it. Um, but yeah, so when you did add me to you got the agent account, I did get your email. So that if you would have set up a text message, I would have gotten the text message as well. I did but not. Yes. Yeah, you didn't set that up, but um, you can. So when you're talking, I mean, that's the beauty of, um, of all of this. And so is that you're able to do a lot of the things automatically. So again, you know, putting your tasks in there and everything else. And just like Joseph said, having the conversation saying, hey, as soon as we hang up, I'm going to send you a quick text message or an email with all of my contact information, some links to my YouTube channel. So you can see this, that, and the other. And then, yes, absolutely. I hundred percent. You, okay. Can you, can you show, listen, I didn't put any effort into creating <laughs> this. It's strictly text and a link, but can you show us or just share it? I believe, I believe it looks I remote. Can. Yeah, please people. And I'm, I'm in the creative space as well. Marketing. Don't judge me. I didn't put any, <laughs> any creativity behind this. It's very plain text. Okay. But uh, this is great. I, yeah, I, I had used your email. I didn't think of that. I didn't do the text message because when, when I test, I'm generally adding very fake numbers uh, and I didn't want random people getting here. Oh, this looks great. Joseph yeah. from Productive, learn more about me. Great. Hey, Lenny, here's some information about working with me. I always want to like, provide my client as much information as possible before and during the home buying process. Amazing. View my website. That's amazing. Oh, I'm happy. Perfect. So yeah, this is, uh, this is actually like, listen, that I'm glad, uh, you know, one of my team members here is here watching this because he doesn't know that's possible. And um, this is something me and Lenny, you know, just played with the other day. And she's like, no, you can do it this way. And I was like, oh, my goodness. It, it is uh, very exciting to see that. So that's that's breaking news, everybody. Um, all you have to do, and again, this is something you could speak to. Uh, you, honestly, I think I could help you if we do the onboarding together, whoever is signing up. You just go to your lead rules uh, in Wise Agent. You could set things up as such. Very simple to do. Probably we want to spend a little more time on the creative side if you'd like, but otherwise it, yeah. it looks fantastic. So yeah, but it's absolutely yeah, no problem. It is. It's absolutely as easy as just setting up your lead rules. And so um, I will share share my screen so we can um, so I can show you where that would be. Um, so just from your your contact drop down, click on the lead rules um, menu drop down here, and then you would be able to. I thought I have one. Yeah. So you would just have the um, rule for productive app dot. Um, app. And so then I can add them to a 10 day conversion plan. I can add them to my call list. I could respond to them automatically with an email. So as soon as Joseph clicked on that add button, right, as soon as you add them to the wise agent account, it'll fire off this email, um, this email to them, or you could send them this text, you know, obviously, you'd have to edit this talk. Now you were just talking to them. So you'd want to edit all of the messages. Um, but then the beauty of it is you could leverage even our AI bot and say, you know what, okay, so I maybe my funnel is full and you know you're one of those fortunate people that you've got a lot of people that you're working with, and they're looking to sell their property and while they're um, maybe doing some stuff I want to just keep um, keep out there, keep the, uh, the AI bot on with them. You could even have someone I think there was a question earlier um, that someone had asked well what if it's if I'm working on it with a team. Um, you could distribute this lead. You could say, hey, someone from my team will reach back out to you. So you could notify somebody else on your team. You could say, I'm going to send this to Victoria, and then she'll get the notification for that or even distribute it um, however you see fit. So there's a lot of things um, that you can do. So those the rules are within Wise Agent. The lead comes in from Productive, um, and you would just set it up in a way where um, it just works really, really seamlessly. Helen, you can do both. Uh, yeah, you would just add that the, those two tabs. One was for email, one was for text. Oh. There's a yes, no for either. I uh, For the one I'd, I'd done for this demonstration that uh, I really didn't even think of, uh, which is a fantastic that I did have it active. I just had the email click to yes. If I had had the text as well, she would have gotten both, I believe. Yeah, so there's yes yeah. and no. You can it's, you can have them both set both to yes. yes. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. But like, for me, for me, and I'm not a realtor, I'm not dealing with the amount of clients and business and, and interactions that obviously uh, realtors uh, deal with. But this to me is such a groundbreaking thing. And, and I, I haven't even, 
I didn't even look at the other tabs. AI bot and distribution is huge. Yeah. If you're a broker in particular and you're receiving a lot of these calls and you want to distribute to your team, it, this sounds like a, an absolutely fantastic type of automation. Yeah. That you can do. And then so there's, really you know, um, so let's say, Joseph, you you were like, oh, and then you're looking to sell your house at 123 Main Street. I'll get you a CMA as soon as we get off the phone. I mean, literally, you can get off the phone while you're headed to the beach with your family, click on, you know, make sure that you and say uh, include a CMA. And then this will include a CMA on that that property address that um, that was included in the lead. So it's really that powerful that you could be living your best life. I mean, when we say that, it's because we it it is what people do and what people see all the time. There's our friend, uh, my friend Greg. Um, so definitely, um, and I'm trying to scan and talk and listen all at the same time. So Greg, I can't read your note, but, um, mm -hmm. I know that this is something that will help a, tr a tremendous amount of people living that, you know, that balanced life or whatever, maybe if it's unbalanced, whatever it is, but living their best life, um, which by the way, let me share the, um, the results. I think it was 70, 77% of you said that you prefer to live your best life. That's what that's you not. That's not huge. You know what? Uh, kudos to those who really want, I guess, the, uh, you know, whether it's, an, uh, whether it's a function of you, you haven't been as successful uh, potentially as you want to be, which is completely understandable. One, real estate's a very competitive uh, landscape to be in for sure. So whether it's one way or the other where you want, to, you want to make more money because you're not being as successful at this point as you believe you should be, uh, again, productive definitely is a solution to that. And to somebody who just wants to ramp it up and, and just like, you know, this, you have a five-year window where you just want to go nuts. Uh, this is where you talk about, and especially with this type of automation that Eleni just showed you, you're talking about, hey, pump up that lead generation, get those calls and automate that flow. Here's what it's like to work with me here. What you have to ask yourself, what are the questions clients ask most and, and need the most assurance of when they contact you as opposed to working with another realtor? Include that in that welcome email that apparently you get instantaneously now, which is like, ah, yeah. oh, I can't wait to rub this in my team's face because I'm not a developer, but we love thinking our whole team, we have a very diverse team uh, at Productive. We really do. And it's that type of thinking uh, ingenuity that allows us to ask the questions. I'm just going to give one quick example because I know I think we're running out of time here. Yeah. I'm driving. Uh, sorry, me and my CEO are driving from the uh, North American Realtors uh, Conference that was in San Diego uh, eight months ago. Remember. Yeah, where, where we got actually first met Eleni in person, which is amazing. And um, we're driving back and I'm, I'm in the car. And we're, we're, it's just a whole ideation session. And I'm, I'm there and uh, I'll tell you how we work. We're driving and I get a call and uh, I answer it with the call, you know, to rent a car, but my phone is connected. So I answer it and we're talking and I'm talking to from back home, they want to change my tires when I get back or something like that to put on my winter tires because I'm in Canada. Don't hold it against me. Um, so I'm driving and then I'm about, he's uh, the guy on the phone is like, does next Thursday work for you? My C and I go to touch my phone, my CEO slaps my hand and he looks at me, he goes, what do you want the phone to do? I'm like, I gotta, I gotta check my calendar. He's like, exactly. You want to check your calendar because someone mentioned a date to you. I'm like, yeah. But I got to access it. He's like, we should make your calendar accessible. So in there's two contexts. One, we offer calendar as a very quick option and productive in the bottom. You don't have to change apps or anything. But two, the idea of your calendar popping up. This is, again, the next evolution of our product within the next few months. The idea that you can focus on doing other things, knowing that you're going to get the information, whether it's a date. So obviously, if someone wants to schedule a viewing tomorrow, I had to just obviously click one button to see if I had anything planned tomorrow. But the idea that my actual phone can now tell me you're free, you can do that next Thursday at 1 a.m., 1 a.m., 1 p.m. to get your tires changed. Okay, great. I'll see you Tuesday at 1 p.m. Goodbye. And now it's in my calendar or my planner. It's in my, you know, it could be also be my task list if I'm like, remember to take my car and whatever it is. It's but the idea that our team will Smith's one another. I hate to say use that term, but it's just so relevant right now. But he literally hit me as we're he's like, don't touch the phone. I'm like, what do you, and then he asked me, what do I want? And that's the question we're asking. And it's the same question. And I'm sorry to say this, that we're going to ask you when you're users, when we follow up with you once a month or whenever you engage with us, we say, hey, what would you like to see next? And if there's anyone in here who is actually, I don't know if there's anyone in here that's on Productive currently, but they can definitely attest to, we have some testimonials on our website as well, 
um, from some wise agent users that would uh, vouch for how much we do ask for your feedback to, to ask how things can make your life as a realtor better. Um, so I just wanted to detail that and how our team works. We're a diverse uh, group of, of uh, individuals that really, you know, we think outside the box and, and we, we kind of really welcome you to, to think like that with us. Yeah, I love that. Thanks for sharing that. I love the, um, just how, you know, the ingenuity and just um, the forward thinking that um, that you guys have there at Productive and just even the way that we work together, um, our teams work together is, is fantastic. So thanks so much, Joseph. Thanks for, for joining us today. And thanks for Thank all that you guys and everyone at Productive is doing to make um, that work-life balance, that, um, you know, to be able to have our realtors live their best life, right? Mm -hmm. um, and giving them that opportunity. So um, if you guys, I think there's some some posts that we've posted in the chat here, how you would be able to get um, productive. They are offering um, 30 days free to try it out. It's just today only. And you can set up their onboarding. They, um, they will help you walk you through just like we do when you set up a wise agent account, walk you through getting everything started. Um, and so, and it works seamlessly with wise agents. So go ahead and go to that link. Um, productive. And you can book today. Yeah. You can book today for next week, but right. ideally please book today, uh, by midnight, ideally. Um, but yes, again, book today it could be any time. I think the calendar goes up to 15 or 20 days or something. Yeah. So whatever is a convenient time for you, if you need to reschedule for any reason, uh, always, we're always, uh, available and, yeah. um, able to help. Oh, one other, just big piece as well. In the app, I didn't really demo it, but we, we have a function in there, a chat function in the settings page, just giving you that assurance because we're, we're giving you a technology on something you've been using for tens of years and, and, and that society has been using forever. But there's all these new features and it sometimes can be you know nerve wracking, scary, new technology. Oh, I have to learn another thing. No, you don't because I've showed you, all you gotta do is answer your call and speak and engage and, and trust that productive is going to, to do all the, the busy for you. Um, and we're always available. Our response time on our chat is about five minutes. We don't sleep. Um, and we're always happy and, and there for you really when you need that assistance. So if you have any concerns or anything, whether it's on our website or in the app when you, when you are onboarded, uh, we're always there to answer your questions. So um, we look forward to it. And uh, Marsha, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Excited. All right. Thanks so much. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Joseph. Thanks everyone for, for tuning in. Um, I will be back next week, April 7th at 10 a.m. with Gina Wilkes from um, one of our partners where we just launched our Google and Facebook ads. So you guys are going to be getting more of those phone calls running these ads from buyers and sellers. So you're going to need this productive app. And we're going to be talking about that next week, how to um, create Google and Facebook ads to generate more business for yourself. So I'm excited for that conversation next week as well. All right, everyone, have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Have Bye. a productive week, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks, Joseph. Bye. <laughs> Bye.